All right, guys, this isn't the best example of an assembly for doing this, but uh, I think 3D printing is so so huge and you know more and more people are printing and seeing the advantages of, of additive and all of that, that I had to do at least one thing on 3D printing. And um, a feature inside of SOLIDWORKS that I don't see a lot of people use that's actually very useful and a huge benefit of 3D printing too is that um, if you have multiple things, sometimes just do the nature of 3D printing kind of can eliminate some of the assembly processes and just combine it into a single feature. So there's a SOLIDWORKS feature that we can use to, to do that. Um, and that's called join. And it's a little bit strange to get to. So um, hopefully you guys can track with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a new part. This is gonna be a virtual part. And uh, usually you would pick a face to start a sketch on. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna hit escape. And we should be able to see my new part down here. And in order to use the join feature, I'm going to need to edit this part in the context of the assembly. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it, say edit. So now I'm editing that and I'm going to find the join feature and it's a little bit buried. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my, my search just to find it here. All right. It's on the mesh modeling tab. I've never even used it from there. That's awesome. All right. So if I click on join, I'm just going to collect the parts that I'm going to combine into a single part. So you just select these guys. Maybe I've got like these, these three parts. And if you're gonna select something that's transparent, you can just hold the shift key and you can grab transparent parts if you guys didn't know that. All right, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it how it is. I'm not gonna hide it. By default, it hides all of these parts that you're combining together. I just want these for my own testing and stuff. So um, I should be able to just select that virtual part now, open it up. We can see that those guys are all a single body, right? Which I could just save out as an STL and print it. Um, something else you guys might be interested here, here too on the 3D printing side is we could go up to 3D print here and let's see if this fits on my build volume, right? So we could do a custom printer or we could manage our printers here. Um, let's see. Personally, I have. I don't think my printer is in here. So let's just set up a custom one. Now I've got to pick a plane that we're going to print off of. Right. And it would be like 200 meters. I got like 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. So here you can see it's not really going to, going to fit. So, you know, maybe I wouldn't combine all of them, you know, um, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Um, it is something that I use pretty frequently that now because I do a lot of 3d printing. So, uh, hopefully this helps you have a great day.